friends, this video is for our kindergarten through fourth grade team for May 1st, which is week one. And we have a new life app for this month, Resilience, getting back up when something gets you down. Okay, I'm gonna show you this memory verse. I was just telling Ashley, I'm totally showered up today, so. Okay, so here's our memory verse for this month. But those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weary. Isaiah 40, 31. So they're just kind of doing the motions that goes along with the verse. So resilience is kind of a big new word for kiddos. So um, here's what we are talking about this week. <clears throat> we start off our month in Matthew 28 and Acts 1 through 2. So right before God takes Jesus back to heaven, Jesus gave his disciples an incredible task. Tell the world about him and share his love with others. This task wouldn't be easy, but Jesus promised he would send the Holy Spirit to help. When the Holy Spirit did come at Pentecost, the Spirit gave the disciples power to accomplish the, the task Jesus set out for them. So our bottom line, God is always with you. Kids are just beginning to learn that there are parts, that there are parts of life that we have to do independently. From our schoolwork to household chores to getting up to bat, it's all on us to get it done. This realization can be overwhelming for anyone, but thankfully we're not on our own when it comes to resilience. God is always with us and can give us the drive to bounce back and keep going to finish what needs to be done. So when um, we'd love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage room for coffee and prayer and donuts. Then just make sure that you are to your classrooms by 830 and 1030. When kiddos start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, the little interactivity that they can do is play beach ball, volleyball. So I'll have a bunch of beach balls in every classroom. It says to draw, put a tape line on the floor, but if you just want to set up a table kind of in the middle um, and have the kids play volleyball over the table, that would be great. And you can ask them some little icebreaker questions as they play. How was your week? What, what exciting things are coming up? It's the last month of school, so what are they doing in school this month? Any field days, things like that. Did anything great happen in your family this week? Then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're going to do a little interactivity called Will It Bounce? So you've got a little bucket with some spherical objects inside of it, and some of them bounce and some of them don't. So you're just going to practice throwing them onto the ground. I'm going to add tennis balls into there too, but they're coming from Amazon. Um, and you're just going to see if the different spheres bounce or not. And so you're just going to close this down by saying, which ones bounced the highest? Which ones didn't bounce at all? Why do you think there was such a big difference? Some of the balls were designed to be bounced back um, or to bounce back when they hit the ground. They're purposely designed to keep going after they get knocked down. Well, we were made to bounce back too when we hit against a hard spot in life. So we're going to hear about how bouncing back helped spread the good news of Jesus all over the world. Then at 10 after, you will go across the hall to a large group. When you get back from a large group, you've got a little review activity um, called Dribble Down Review. So in your cart, you've got two sets of cones, and you're just going to line them up in two rows, and you're going to do a relay race, and kids are going to dribble a bouncy ball in between the cones as they do a little relay going down. And um, it's the, the review, the little um, pictures on the cones review the story. So, I'm going to go over here so I don't mess this up. Divide your kids into two teams. Line each team up on either side of the cones. Each team will start on the opposite side of the cones. And then you're going to give the first kid in each team a ball. That kid, um, the first kid on each team is going to dribble the ball around the cones toward the far side of the room and then join the back of that line. The kids will be dribbling around each other at some point. Well, we just have two lines going. So you're going to direct the kids to continue until every kid has had a chance to dribble to the opposite side of the cones. And when everyone has dribbled to the opposite sides of the cones, the teams should be on opposite sides from where they started. And once everyone makes it down to the other side of the room, you're going to use the images on the cones to review the story. And you can just kind of read this little part right there to review the story. And also, if you want to, while they're eating their snack or afterwards, I do have it marked in your Action Bibles. Oops. Here is when Jesus gives them the Great Commission to go and make followers. And then Jesus rises up to heaven and his disciples are gathered. And this is actually when Pentecost happens and the Holy Spirit comes and rests upon them. So if you want to read that part to the kids or show them that part of the Action Bible, you can do that too to review. 
So then the memory verse activity is you're just going to practice doing the memory verse with some action. So first you're going to help the kids look up Isaiah chapter 40, 31. You're going to read the verse together and then you're going to go, instead of taping a circle on the floor, we're just going to use the whole room. So have kids spread out in a big circle and the, you're going to say the first line, but those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. And they're going to stand throughout the circle and they're going to repeat that first sentence five times while they pump their fist, um, pumping their arms and bouncing. So they're going to go faster and faster and faster. Then the next part, they will fly as high as eagles. And you're going to have kids repeat that sentence five times while they're flying with their wings out to the side around in a circle. And then they will run and not get tired. They're going to do that five times while they run in place. And then they will walk and not grow weak. You're going to have them do that five times and they're going to, you can have them walk around the circle if they want them. Just practicing that memory verse. And then finally, to close it down in prayer, um, bouncy balls plus thanking God that he is always with us. So you're going to pass out a bouncy ball to every kid and you're going to give them very clear instructions that they're going to hold the bouncy ball. If they choose to bounce it while you're doing prayer time, then you get to take the bouncy ball back from them and they do not get to keep it. So you're going to see, say, everybody hold up your bouncy ball. And you're going to say, great job. I want you to keep these bouncy balls with you this week as a reminder that God is always with you. And when you put your faith in Jesus, he promises to send us a helper, which is God's spirit. The Holy Spirit will help you bounce back or get up just like a bouncy ball. And then you can close down in prayer. So I've got a little baggie of bouncy balls on all your carts um, for one of the kindergarten rooms. I just have them still in this big tube so you can pull them out of there. So that is it. Don't forget to check on your birthdays for this month. Thank you guys so much for serving. I'm excited about May, excited about learning about resilience. I think it's going to be great for our kids. They have definitely had to be resilient over the past couple of years. So thank you guys so much for serving, and we'll see you on Sunday.